Hey guys, I'm Dave, and today we're going to get a little bit crafty. So no reviews in this video. We are going to be doing uh, some DIY holograms. So it's a little bit cheaty because it's not technically a real hologram. Um, what we're going to be doing with some stuff that I've got here is um, making uh, an optical illusion, which you can do with your mobile phone and a little bit of um, transparent plastic. So I've got some here. So, the things you're going to need, you're going to need some tape, some clear tape, a ruler, um, some kind of pen marker felt thing that will draw on the plastic but not mark it, because you don't want to be marking it. Um, a pair of scissors, some decent sharp scissors, your mobile phone, and of course, some plastic transparent sheeting. Now... I've repurposed this from um, a box that I had, um, but you can go down to local craft shop and get plastic sheets like this, probably an A4. You're not going to need much, probably about this much, if you're going to be doing it with your mobile phone. You can, of course, um, make this larger if you want to do it for a tablet or something like that, um, if you want to make a larger version. But for this video, we're going to be doing it for my Nexus 6, which is a relatively large phone on its own anyway. So what do you need to do? Well, you may, some of you may have already seen um, some instructions on how to do this uh, with some very specific uh, measurements, but you don't need to follow the measurements that are floating around the internet. Uh, what you want to be doing really is making the measurements tailored to the device that you're using. So my measurements in this video are going to be different to your measurements. And what you want to do is take your phone, take your ruler and you want to measure the width of your screen so not from bottom to top height wise you want to do it width way so the shortest way and for me it's just under eight centimeters just under so that's the, the first main measurement that we need and then you want to take your plastic sheet and you want to pick out probably the best place you're going to be able to get your eight centimeters so for me uh, I'm going to choose this line here. There's a line across here uh, from where it was folded from the packaging. And uh, we're just going to mark out our eight centimeters. So just under. So we'll do 7.5 just there. And we're going to chop out our first piece. So it's going to be fairly simple. Crafty stuff. Uh, we'll just cut up until that point. And then what we can do then is just go straight up. We do actually need to make a shape out of this. But we're not going to worry about it just yet. As long as we've got this square, we can worry about the finished shape in a minute. So, bam. There's our first shape. And uh, you're going to need to be creating four of these all together. So now we need to do the height of this. Now, it's not quite the same as the width. Um, because we're actually going to chop a little bit off the top so we can put it on the phone whichever way around we like. Um, so I'm going to go for about six centimeters because we might be chopping off. We probably are going to chop off uh, another centimeter. In fact, I think, yes, yeah, six centimeters is going to be fine. So measure your six centimeters. You want it to be in the middle. So you could go, right, we've got seven and a half there. So we want to be uh, three and a half for the center and then go six centimeters for the top. And what you want to do now is cut from one corner to the point you've just made and from that corner to that point again. Uh, so we're going to be going from there to there, from there to there. And, and we'll go on to the next step. So what you should end up with is a nice pyramid like this. And uh, you want to replicate this exact pyramid three more times. So you can just use this now as a template rather than remeasuring everything. Um, and then we will chop the top off. So I'm probably going to go for either half a centimeter or a full centimeter. We'll see in a minute. We'll decide what we're going to do in a minute. So I'm going to go and create three more of these. If you're following along, you go do that now, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I've just created my extra three more, so I've got four all together, and um, I've decided that 
we are going to cut the end off. You know, you don't necessarily need to, if depending on how you're going to put this onto your phone. But for this vi video demonstration, we're going to cut the tips off. So you should remember that the one one side is longer. So make sure you've got them all the right way, and you don't cut the wrong tip off. So we measured up um, six centimeters. So what we want to do is get our little pen, and we want to mark off uh, the last centimeter. So we're going to take off. A centimeter off the end of each one um, so that we end up with a nice flat edge when we put these together so let's go ahead and nip off the last centimeter of each one of these and it should be nice and neat and the same as all the rest hopefully if we've done this right which we will have we'll have done this right won't we <laughs> if you guys are following as you're coming along this is such a simple little trick but it's so effective it looks really nice and you know obviously if you've got a nice big tablet or phone or something like that the more effective um, the results will be so last one six centimeters we're chopping off the last centimeter don't forget to take off any of the marks you've made with your pen so that it's nice and clean. I've got a few little black marks, so I should, I, yeah, I can just rub them off. I'm using a felt pen, by the way. It doesn't stick. It doesn't stick. So we're done. Now we've got four shapes exactly the same that look like this. There we go, so you can see that. And we're going to stick these together now. So that's what the tape's for. Now you're only going to need a small amount of tape. You only want to cover what you need to cover. So, you know, you can kind of guess that you need that much. So, get that, nip it off with your teeth or whatever you want to do. And um, you actually want to cut the tape in half lengthways. So you don't have so much tape when you're sticking it on. And I'm actually going to cut these down even more. So I've got four pieces. So there we go, stuck to all my fingers. Just grab the first one you come to and get a bit of tape along one of those edges. There we go. And then all you want to do is start lining them up. So take your time. We're not in a rush to get this done. Or maybe you are. Maybe your parents are shouting you to get your tea. <laughs> and just plonk them on. Just take your time, make sure you've got them lined up nicely. Otherwise you'll start running into problems. And then we're on to the last piece. So you should end up with something that looks like that. And the last piece wants to be there. So let's put that on. Like so. Nice and carefully like. Make sure it's all stuck down. And you should end up with something like that. There we go. So you end up with this. And this is what your hologram is going to go inside of. So that's it. We're done. How do we actually get a hologram from that? Well, like I was saying earlier, it's a trick of the eye. What we're going to be doing is going onto YouTube. So bring up YouTube on your phone and we're going to search for holograms. So hologram video is a thing you want to look at and you could probably pick any one of these. What you're looking for is an image of four things. There's actually a playlist right here and we're going to choose, say this one, it's five minutes long. Make sure you get your phone into the right position and you'll notice in this video we've got butterflies and we put our little hologram projector into the middle and what you want to do is hold it up and have a look inside and there we have our hologram
So there it is guys, a quick and easy DIY hologram using your mobile phone and a bit of plastic. It's a super simple little side project that you could do for just a bit of interest I guess. I kind of enjoyed doing this, it was fun and that's why I made this video, just to show you guys um, and see what you think. So what did you think? Is that kind of cool? Is this the future? Not really, it's been around for a very very long time uh, this kind of optical illusion. So there it is guys, I hope you enjoyed, thumbs up if you did, thumbs it down if you didn't, leave a comment in the description and uh, shout out to my patrons as always, thanks to you guys for helping support this channel and if you'd like to become a patron yourself please head over to patreon.com forward slash Dave Chaos and have a look on what's available on there and I will catch you all next time, bye.